Yeah. Marshall, yeah, good to see you guys. How are you? Marshall, what's up, man? Good to see you. You didn't tell him about how I played at all, no, did we're you? Gonna, we're okay. Gonna talk about it. <laughs> he was in ROTC while he was playing. And then went into the pros uh, and said, I don't want to be a pet basketball player. I want to be an Army man. I want to be an officer. And he didn't just want to be in the Army. He wanted to fight in the Army. He didn't go in and test the water. He went and he jumped completely in. And not only did he become an officer in the combat arms, but he went to airborne school. Okay. And after airborne school, he went into ranger school. Ranger school is the toughest army school that you can go into. A ranger unit is the best unit in, in the army. Marshall was in that unit. You know, Marshall was proud to be in that unit. And he brought seven of his teammates with him you know, for, the, for uh, this game. And so, uh, Marshall, if you coach said the Ranger Regiment and he said something to me once that I really like and I hang my hat on and that's so we consider the Ranger Regiment the Duke basketball of the Army. I think you guys can wrap your heads around that and coach and I were talking today and you guys should be excited there's a lot of similarities in how we do things in special operations and how you guys do things here. It's even cooler to me are some of the feelings I've gotten working in special operations. I've only ever gotten them before being a part of the Brotherhood. There's one moment this year where I'm like, man, I, I know I've only felt that once before. And I, I want to just share that with you guys. Um, and to, to set the stage for you, you know, can't go into details, but we were called on. We're waiting in our version of an airport. Uh, we have a ranger chaplain, meanest chaplain you've ever seen, yoke little chaplain. He'll put a, a blessing on us before we fly off and we, you know, land in this combat zone. And he brings us in and he gives a fire and brimstone you know speech you know you know we're all getting fired up all of our heads are down and i don't want you guys to think i'm, I'm sacrilegious or anything but like I, I did one of these in the middle of it i kind of looked around like one of those i want to tell you what i saw and I, I looked across the room so i look at that guy man i'm glad he's on my team then i look next to him man i'm glad he's on my team and like i look next to him man he, those guys are scary i'm glad he's on my team and then boom like, it, it just hit me, like the, the sense of, of deja vu, like deja vu, like I've felt this before. I know I've felt this before. And it took me back to 2015. It took me back to Duke. It took me back to the defense room. It took me back to us praying before a game. And I didn't get this feeling the whole time I was at Duke. But there was definitely a moment I got it halfway through the 2015 season. And we're praying. And again, I kind of do one of these. I look up around the room. I'm like, holy shit. like, we've got Jaleel Okafor. Like, how the are they gonna stop Jaleel Okafor? And if they stop him, we got Emil Jefferson. If they stop Emil Jefferson, I've seen Quinn Cook. He's been training for four years. How are they gonna stop Quinn Cook? But if they do, they got Tyus Jones. We got Matt Jones. We, we got, uh, if I'm gonna get in there, I'm gonna hit the out of somebody. I'm gonna do something. Uh, and I'm like, there's no way they can stop us. I just felt this, this confidence, not in myself, but a confidence in the team. And that's a feeling I really want for you guys this year to really believe in one another. And it, it, belief in yourself is good, but when you start believing in each other, that's when I'm like, hey, we can win a national championship. Those are, that's when I'm like, hey, I wanna to go to war with these guys. I want that moment for you guys this year. That's the moment I felt. And then there's just, there, there's one other thing I wanna tell you guys. And, and that's just, um, you know, Veterans Day to me, you guys playing, it's, it's bigger than basketball. Uh, I think that's really cool. When we say Coach K is bigger than basketball and Duke is bigger than basketball, and we say that, uh, but, but what does that mean? That's an endorsement that they've earned. And, and the way Duke has earned that, the way Coach K has earned that, is for everything you see him do, every banner you see, there are like 10 things they're doing behind closed doors for their community to be good human beings that you'll, you'll probably never hear about. And there was something Duke did for me uh, that you guys, well, I, I got to tell you about it. We were in a, a part of the world earlier, rough part of the world, tough time. And uh, I reached out to Dave Bradley and Coach K and, hey, you know, it really mean a lot. We, we got some Rangers here doing Ranger things. If, if we could get a Duke teacher or something, I got a Duke fan here, it would fire them up. And uh, so what they did is they sent me a couple of boxes of Duke gear so big, I had to get three or four people to help me carry them. 
Uh, and, and to me, that was the, the coolest thing. And it went so far. I, I wish I could tell you what we were doing, but I'll just tell you, we were doing Ranger things. And then guys to go to bed would put on a Brotherhood t-shirt, would put on a Duke t-shirt and go to bed. It was pretty cool. And, and we're grateful. And I'm, I'm passing out the t-shirts and uh, I'm, pat I'm new here. I'm new to the Ranger Regiment and I'm passing them out. And I say, hey, you know, Coach K loves you guys. He thinks, you know, you're awesome. Uh, you know, he wanted you to have these. And uh, when I started giving out those t-shirts, the major stopped me. He said, stop it. He said, you guys, he said, you're one of us. You're, you're a ranger now. You're, you're one of us. He loves you. And that was a really cool moment for me. I don't, I don't know if I would have gotten that moment that clearly uh, without you guys. So I got uh, something we want to give you guys. Coach K said the ranger regiment's like the uh, Duke basketball of the army. And so for us, uh, we, we got this for you guys. And it says, in honor of the Duke Blue Devils, the Ranger Regiment of Basketball. Uh, and we'll never forget your support. Proud to wear Duke while doing Ranger things. And more specifically, this is, uh, this is from my guys and they're the mortar platoon. They're the ones that are a little crazy. And if you, I'm the one in the back, if you can't tell where I, who I am. Yeah, so uh, that, that's all I got for you guys. I really hope you guys get that feeling this year. It's a special feeling. I've only ever gotten it here and uh, yeah, it's bigger than basketball. I'll see you guys. I'm leaving big things for you guys. I really appreciate you guys. Hey, what's up, man? Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you guys. Really excited for you, man. Yeah, go crush it. I'm cheering for you. Oh, hey, hey, what size shoe do you wear? 16. Oh, perfect. I need to talk to Theo real quick. It's, it's tough being the fifth year guy. You got to deal with immature guys like Emil Jefferson. I babysit him, and I got something for you. What you're doing, it resonates with me. You know, fifth year guy, excited for you. These are called, if you haven't heard the team, it's called, it's called Heat on Feet. I appreciate it, yeah. I hope you can wear those. These are some, of the, you won't see a lot of guys with those, so. Yeah, how's the fun with those? Coach K, uh, when I was here, uh, he went and spoke at Fort Benning. He spoke to a lot of leaders. At one point, he spoke to the Ranger Regiment. They gave him a hat. And he came back and he gave that hat to me. And he told me about them. Hey, this is like the Duke basketball, the Army. And that, that planted the bug. You know, I, I wanted to be a part of the Ranger Regiment. So I brought one hat again. And I'm, if I give it to you, you got to join the Army. <laughs> no, I'm Mark, I want to give this to you. Because again, I, you guys all do great work. But the, the bigs, you guys got to do a little extra. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, so hat means different things. So, but that's uh, Suespante, that's our motto. And then there's a, a bird on there, there's a CH 47. And people ask, you know, hey, what's the most dangerous aircraft in the military? Is it whatever Tom Cruise flies? Is it a stealth bomber? And the answer is no, it's, it's a CH 47 full of Rangers. That's the most dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you.